The Secret of Chimney's Novel Summary in English Let's begin. When they meet up in Bulawayo, Anthony Cade agrees to take on two jobs for his friend James McGrath. Anthony heads for London to deliver the draft of a memoir to a publisher, who has pledged to pay £1,000 if it is delivered by a certain date, and to return a packet of compromising letters to the woman who wrote them. In England, politician George Lomax persuades Lord Caterham to host a house party at Chimneys. George's cousin, Virginia Revel is invited, as is Hiram Fish, a collector of first edition books, along with the principles in a political scheme to restore the monarchy in Herzoslovakia, while assuring that newly discovered oil there will be handled by a British syndicate. On Kate's first day in London, he is approached by two Herzoslovakian men who try to acquire the manuscript. The first, a count supporting the royalist faction, tries to buy the manuscript, offering to outbid the publisher, to suppress any embarrassing information it might contain, Cade politely but firmly refuses. The second, a member of a violent revolutionary group, demands Cade hand it over at gunpoint. Cade disarms the man and sends him away. Later that night, Cade discovers his waiter sneaking into his hotel room, the waiter escapes with the packet of letters. The publisher calls Cade the next day, telling him that their employee Mr. Holmes will arrive to pick up the memoir. This was written by the late Count Stilptich of Herzoslovakia. Now that oil has been discovered, the nation is in turmoil between Republicans and Royalists. On advice, Cade puts a dummy package in the ho- The thief brings one letter to Virginia Revel at her home, as it is her name signed to each letter. Unaware she did not write the letters, and that her husband is dead, he attempts to blackmail her. On a whim, she pays some money, and promises more the next day. When she arrives home the next day, she finds him shot to death in her house, and Anthony Kate on her doorstep. Kate removes the body, dumping it along a road in the country and hiding the gun up a tree, to avoid a scandal and allow Virginia to proceed to Chimneys. At Chimneys, Prince Michael, presumed heir to the vacant throne of Herzoslovakia, is killed the night of his arrival. Kate was at Chimneys that same evening, leaving footprints outdoors, but not indoors. He boldly introduces himself to Superintendent Battle, explaining the story of the memoirs, and persuading Battle of his innocence in the murder. After seeing that the dead prince is the same man as Mr. Holmes, Kate pursues his own ideas in finding the murderer, while Battle leads the main investigation. The next heir to the throne, Nicholas, cousin to Michael, was raising money on his expectations in America. Cade checks out the governess, a recent addition to the household, he travels to France to speak with her prior employer. The Koenewer diamond had been stolen from the Tower of London and replaced by a paste copy some years earlier, by a French jewel thief named King Victor. Chimneys is one place where it may be hidden, though many searches have not found it. King Victor was released from prison in France a few months earlier, so Battle expects he will seek to recover it. The night Kate is in France, there is a break-in at Chimneys. Virginia Revel hears the noise, and sees one or two men taking old armor apart. She and Bill Eversleigh do not catch the thief. The next night, the three wait for a second attempt, they catch M. Lemoyne of the Charite, on the track of King Victor. Battle has been waiting for him. The stolen letters reappear in Kate's room. It is revealed the letters were coded messages written to King Victor by an accomplice. Battle realizes the thieves want him to decode the letter that points to the location of the stolen gem. This is done, revealing the clue, Richmond 7 straight 8, left 3 right. Battle follows the Richmond clue to a brick in a hidden passage, which in turn reveals a puzzling conundrum. Kate slips out to Dover, to find an address on a slip of paper given him by Boris Anchaukov, ballet to the late prince. He finds the meeting of King Victor's gang, Hiram Fish, really a Pinkerton detective on the thief's trail for his crimes in America, and the real M. Lemoyne tied up as a hot at chimneys, all are gathered to hear the mysteries explained. In the library, Boris finds Miss Brun with a pistol, attempting to get the jewel. They struggle, the gun goes off in her hand, killing her. Miss Brun had killed Prince Michael, because he had recognized her as someone else. She was the last queen consort of Herzoslovakia, thought to have been murdered with her husband in the revolution, but she escaped. She wrote the coded letters to Captain O'Neill, an alias of King Victor, and signed them with the name of Virginia Revel, 
who had been living in Herzoslovakia with her husband, a British diplomat. Kate introduces the real M. Lemoyne to the group, while Hiram Fish snares King Victor, who has been posing as the French detective and in America as Nicholas. Anthony Cade gave Mr. Holmes the dummy package, he gives the real memoirs to Jimmy McGrath to earn his £1,000. Cade and Fish solve the conundrum, it points to a rose bush on the grounds where the coenuer is subsequently recovered. Anthony presents himself as the missing Prince Nicholas, ready to ally with the British syndicate, he offers himself as Herzoslovakia's next king. Earlier that day, he married Virginia, who will be his queen.